are from Tengku Muhammad Faris Petra Science Secondary School. Here's a short video of Kizime. According to Food and Agriculture Organization assessment on 2011, one third of all food produced for human consumption never reached the consumer's table. It is equivalent to 1.3 billion tons of vegetables, fruits, dairy, meat, seafood and grains rotten on the farm, lost during distribution or are thrown away. 60% of pre-consumer type waste produ produced by the food industries um, is made up of the matter, organic uh, matter. But wasted food isn't just a social or humanitarian concern. It's an environmental one. Now, when we waste food, we also waste all the energy and water it takes to grow, to harvest, to transport uh, or to package it. And if food goes to the landfill and rots, it produces a methane, which is a greenhouse gas. Now the greenhouse gas is more potent than the carbon dioxide one. About 6 to 8 of all human caused greenhouse gas Emissions could be reduced if we stop wasting food. So, in order to reduce the food waste and minimizing the global warming, we have come up with a solution of producing the Kitchzyme. The Kitchzyme is a new type of enzyme derived from the fermentation of uh, fresh fruit drags, uh, brown sugar and water. Today, the management of food waste, especially the ones that are made up of organic substances, has been such a very crucial and serious matter worldwide. Less awareness of consumer to reuse their waste has, has, has caused improper disposal of waste by open dump and thus creating pollution. Before we dive deeper into our main discussion, let us look at our objectives. First and foremost, the kitzyme is produced to characterize kitzymes from lemon and orange peel and also to investigate kitzyme to purify fish pond as household products and to help plant growth. Other than that, the kitzyme is produced to reduce the amount of food waste, especially organic fruit waste. So now, how do we produce the kitzyme? First of all, we have to prepare all the substances needed like fish orange or lemon peel, water and brown sugar. Next, mix the organic waste which is the fresh orange or lemon peel, brown sugar and water at the ratio of 3 to 1 to 10. After that, let the mixture undergo fermentation for 3 months in an airtight plastic bottle. Now, the kitzyme is ready to be used. During the process of fermentation, the enzymes will have some physical changes from odour, colour, concentration and bubbles. pH of the enzymes are acidic in nature. The pH of orange enzyme is 3.26 while the pH of the lemon enzymes is 3.28 due to the presence of organic acid in the enzyme solution. The brown sugar is added as a main substrate. For the TSS test, it shows higher reduction when it takes longer time, which means that the enzymes is more effective. In other words, the more concentrated the TSS is, the higher the effectiveness of the enzymes.
At the end of the research, the Kizam has brought lots of benefits like purify air by removing bad smell and chemical residue, act as natural antiseptic which reduces demands for chemical pesticide, purify underground and surface water, and also prevent drain pipe blockage by releasing accumulated residue in the pipe of basins and toilet bowls. Plus, it can also save money by turning kitchen waste into multi-purpose household cleaners and also save the environment by prolonging the lifespan of landfills which also reduce the methane emission. For the sake of our beloved country, we should have benefit the production of kitchen. For instance, we can replace the household products or the chemical fertilizers with kitchen. Kitchen is an environmental friendly and does not cause pollution as it's made up of organic substances. Food waste is actually on one of the factor of the global warming. So, by the production of kitchen, we could reduce the risk of getting global warming too.